What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here, and in this video I wanna walk through how to use Facebook ads if you're a complete beginner. I'm gonna walk through all the different steps and show you basically how to go through and use it. So give you a quick tutorial on how to go through and make this happen. Now, I've spent close to half a million dollars now on Facebook, so I feel like I, I know a thing or two. Um, this, is, this is an old, old account. You can see right here, Lifetime, just a, you know, a little under 6,000. This was back kinda of when I was testing. And then I made more of an official business account, and um, that's where I do most of my spending, right? So that's just for me personally, my business, but then I've spent another, I don't know, 100000 maybe for other clients. So we've really gone through and nailed down a lot of the different strategies. And obviously, there's always more to learn. There's always things that are changing with Facebook, and you need to stay on top of that. But with this, I want to give you guys a quick run through from A to Z. So right here, guys, just to give you a quick overall view these these are all of your campaigns all right and we're going to walk through there's good there's three types of things there's a campaign there's an ad set and then there's an ad okay so like campaign is kind of like at the top and then you can have multiple ad sets to the campaign and then you can have multiple ads in each one of the ad sets right so just to break that down it's actually easiest to go through and start creating campaign to explain each one of the different meanings of, of what those all are because like you're probably like okay just what what the heck are those right so if we click on create campaign right here all right it's gonna see we'll start over it says what's your marketing objective okay so there's a lot of different things here and we need to choose the objective that best suits us of what we're shooting for okay so um, we've got brand awareness right here consideration or conversion so Facebook they have so much data that they know if they're gonna show an ad in front of somebody, they know if somebody's gonna watch a video, like more likely to watch a video or more likely to like or comment a post. Like for me, I don't really like and comment on a lot of posts, but I'll click on a lot of links and so they'll probably know, okay, I'll show Jason ads that are more traffic based of people. So traffic is basically like you want them to click to your website or to a blog post or something like that. Whereas video views, that's like posting a, vid a video on Facebook and you just want people to watch it. You don't want necessarily them to click anywhere. Engagement, that's just like um, clicking that boost post button on your Facebook page. That's to get people to like and comment and share on your post. And Facebook knows the people that are more likely to do that, okay? And right here, there's lead generation. That's using Facebook's lead forms, which we could shoot another video another day. Um, if you guys want a video specifically on that, um, just comment down below because I can go through and show you step by step. And the cool thing about this, is it gets you their name, phone, email, address, whatever information you want, but it automatically pulls the information that Facebook has on file. So a lot of times you can eliminate a lot of the bogus information when it comes to lead generation, right? Now messages, this is kind of a newer one, but this is really hot right now of just like, you know, they click, hey, I, I'm interested, the call to action is send message, and then it starts a conversation in your Facebook Messenger. Okay, and I've seen some crazy awesome results with Facebook Messenger. And then uh, conversions right here. This is using, this is diving a little bit deeper, and I've got several other videos on this, but using Facebook's Pixel. Okay, so their Pixel is basically their way of tracking everyone that comes to your website, everyone that becomes a lead, all that stuff, which we can hit a little bit on that today, but we'll also, I've got, I've got actually another video that I'll link here, uh, be able to show you guys how to actually make that happen, okay, and how to set that up and use it on your website. So these are all the different ones. So for this one, let's just say, we're gonna go with traffic, all right? And this obviously is based off of your goals of what you wanna go through and do. I didn't really hit brand awareness. Brand awareness is just getting like a massive reach, getting like more exposure than anything, you know, and kind of like that in store visits, catalog sales. This is a little bit more advanced and it depends on like what type of business you're in. So I've actually never used those um, just because I'm not in that type of business. But if you're, used, you're working with like a physical location, like store visits obviously are gonna be huge. Or catalog sales that's probably gonna be related more to e-commerce all right so let's just say traffic right here and then we can give the campaign a name so we'll just say demo traffic campaign all right so come over here and just really quick back I'll just show you um, let's just click back right here you can set a limit to the campaign saying hey I don't want to spend any more than 200 bucks 500 bucks whatever or 50 or whatever the number is but I, I typically don't do that. I just kind of keep my eye on the campaigns and watch them. So we'll just hit continue here. Okay, so the campaign, so like we've got the three different pieces, the campaign, which is kind of like the overall 
um, the highest part of the pyramid, I guess. Then you've got ad sets where you can have multiple ad sets within the campaign, okay? And then the ad right here. So your campaign is the objective. Do you want to, to people to watch videos, traffic, get leads? What, what do you want to happen? Then your ad set, this is where it gets into the targeting of finding like what's the audience? Like what's the demographic you want to target? What's your budget? You can see right here, they break it down. They've actually, they changed this about a year ago and they made it really simple to kind of see all the steps like your objective. Okay, now the, the tra okay, it's traffic. Um, who do you want the audience to be? Where do you want to be placed? Do you want to be on your mobile phone, on desktop, on Instagram, on all these different platforms? And then your budget. So it's like, hey, do you want to spend $5 a day? Do you want to spend $100 a day? Like, how much do you want to spend? Okay. So over here, as we come down, and we can give this a name too. So we'll just say demo um, traffic ad set. And then you could, I, I typically would like at this point, to just give it a name based off the audience, right? Which we don't know yet because I'm just kind of creating this on the fly. But it's kind of cool because you see like the potential reach of what you've got so far and we'll break it down. You'll see how this number right here is 200 million. How as we go through and break this down, it'll shrink, but you're getting more narrow, more specific. Okay, so when I'm running a campaign, if it's, if it's like a national campaign, like all across like the US or Canada or whatever country you live in, I like to get a few hundred thousand people in that campaign because Facebook works better with more data. Okay, so like the bigger the audience, the bigger it work, the better it works. However, if it gets too big, if it's getting to like three, four, five million, um, sometimes you've got to like nail in your your target a little bit better. If it's like a super broad market, then great. Like if you're selling, I don't know, like uh, weight loss stuff because that's a pretty broad market. But if you're like in more of a specific niche, you probably want to stick around like the one to two million on the higher end, right? That's at least what I've seen. But then if you're doing like local ads, obviously it's kind of based off of how many people live in your town, in your city, right? If like you live in Chicago versus, I don't know, like some small town in South Dakota, right? Like you're going to have a lot fewer people, but you don't want to be reaching out to people in North Dakota because just is not going to be within that right demographic. Okay, so come down here, traffic. I just leave this here. The nice thing is some of the stuff you don't really even have to touch. It's it's not like it's super important. So offer, I don't do anything there. And then custom audiences. This is a little bit advanced, so we'll hit that in another video. And then for locations, let's say let's say this is let's just say this is a local ad. Okay, we're running it for a local. Whether uh, we'll say a real estate agent just because um, that's I work a lot in the real estate space and the mortgage space. So let's say, okay, we're going to come down here and we'll say, um, where do we want to be in today? Orlando, Florida. Okay. So we'll type in Orlando, Florida. And look at this. It went from 200 million down to 2 million people right here. Now, what if I'm running a local ad, this locations with this drop down, it, it by default, it's going to say everyone in this location, but I typically would want to do people who live in this location, okay? Because if it's like, hey, I just want people who live in this location, and that's good for real estate, but if you're doing like for a restaurant, and you just want everyone in that location because if they're visiting, it doesn't matter if they're visiting, you want to be able to target them as well. Or you could do people recently in this location, so if they were there, but they're not there anymore, or people traveling in this location. So like if you're like running an ad for more tourist type stuff, um, you could do that as well. So for this one with real estate, we'll just say people who live in this location. And then you can see that that narrowed it down to 1.5 million because Orlando is kind of a touristy spot, right? So now what we could do is we can go through and say, hey, I only want it with people in the current city. Okay, so which that's going to nail it down to 880,000. Or you can say, hey, I want to do more of a radius. Okay, so you can go up to 50 miles or down to 10 miles. So just because this is a little bit bigger city, right? We could do a 10 mile radius. Okay, so now we're going down. And as far as the age range, you gotta kind of think of like, okay, your target demographic, like how old are they? Like somebody, if we're doing real estate, is looking to, to find someone that's looking to buy or sell a home, an 18 year old's probably not gonna be in that demographic. So I typically like to go up to at least like a 25, 26, 27, something like that. And so you can see how you're narrowing down uh, this as well. You can go through, you can type in languages. It's like if you only want to work with people that speak English, or you could say, hey, 
I want to work. I know there, there's, it's a big Hispanic market in that area. So you could just say, hey, I want Spanish. Um, so you can kind of see it's 220,000 people. Or you can just say, hey, you know, I, I'll work with, it doesn't matter what language they speak. If they, they live in the U.S., they probably speak a little bit of English. So I'll just leave it at that. So I, I'll typically, just because I speak English, I'll just put that in. Now, guys, this is where it gets pretty cool right here, okay? The detailed targeting. Okay, so the detailed targeting, you could do some really cool stuff here. So um, what I like to do, you can go through and browse. You could browse by demographics. So somebody's education, okay? So education level, they've got a college degree or they've just high school or they're in college. They're in high school. They've got a master's degree. So you can get pretty like, and obviously this is not always something that you have to go through and choose. But sometimes depending on your ad you're creating, this could be really helpful. So it's just good to know some of these different things that are in here. Or financial, you could say, hey, I only want to hit higher income people. So people that are making over half a million dollars a year. Okay. Or I can target the lower income or like kind of like the middle income or something like that. Or saying, hey, net worth. Okay. Because if you got like a high value real estate property, if we're sticking with this, you, you probably like somebody that's only like has a hundred thousand dollar net worth might not be able to afford a five million. Well, they can't afford a five million dollar property. Okay, so that's kind of cool right here. And then also, I just want to hit some of these things because these are like what I like found some of these stuff, some of these things in here. I was like, wow, there's a lot of stuff you could do. So kind of want to just open up your guys' eyes and your mind to seeing some of the different things that we can do here. All right, so you can do home ownership, which is big for obviously real estate, mortgage. Um, you can say, hey, I'm looking for people that are first time home buyers, home type, life events, um, interests. You see like, okay, you, you want people like, there's one where, let me find this. There's one, oh, behaviors, I think it is, okay, where it talks about people's purchase behavior, right? This right here. So people that are like more likely to make big purchases online if you're doing like e-commerce type stuff, uh, see these buyer profiles, coupon users, that like it's crazy how much data Facebook has because Facebook not only has the data that you give them, but through Facebook's pixel, they can actually track what sites you're going to. They know what, what links you're clicking on, what ads you're clicking on. So they've actually got a lot, a lot, a lot of data on you. Okay. Cause some people a lot of times are like, well, how do they know that I like, I like skiing. I don't like any of the skiing pages, but you know, maybe you're clicking on those, those ads or something like that. So they've got, I mean, I'm not going to go through all these, but they've got tons of things down here. Or you could just say, Hey, um, they're interested in real estate. You could just type that in. Okay, so right here, interests or behaviors, either one of these. The difference between interests and behaviors, interest is basically they, they've liked something related to real estate on Facebook. Behaviors is kind of like they've more acted upon something like they, that's more of like they click the link or something like that. So anyway, guys, you guys could get lost in this forever. I'm not going to dive in super deep um, more on this just because we've already, I feel like hit that pretty well. So adding a connection type, this right here, I don't always really do this, but you could say, hey, I want them to be people who like, I want to, I want to just target people who've liked my Facebook page already. So it's like, that's kind of your warm audience. Or if you want to like expand a little bit, but you know how on some of the ads it says, Hey, um, so-and-so like one of your friends also likes this page. This is where you can go through and do that. So you can say, Hey, friends of people who like your page, or if you want to just expand and get new people you say, Hey, only people exclude people who like my page because this is not. For those who like my pages, it's only for new people coming in. Okay, so now coming down, um, what we could do here, so automatic placements, a lot of times they have this here by default. I like to do edit placements. And just so you can see like all the different places we can have these ads, you can have it on the, the news feed. So this mobile and desktop used to be separate and now it's just one and the same. If we want to make it just on mobile or just on desktop, right here on device types, it says all devices recommended, which I usually leave it at that, but you can say only on mobile devices or only on desktop computers. Okay, so that's just something really quick there. And then um, as we're going down here, I like to just typically leave it on the Facebook news feeds and uncheck everything else, okay, just because I've seen the best results with that. However, I just wanted to show you some of the different places you could have these ads, okay? So you could have it on their instant articles, which is kind of like a newer blogging type platform. In stream videos, this is kind of like what uh, YouTube's already been doing, having like the streaming videos before a video 
you know, right column. You guys have seen that on your desktop, top right. Lots of times you get cheaper ad space for that just because it not as many people click on that. However, it could still convert extremely well. Um, and then right here, this is where you do it on Instagram. Okay, Facebook owns Instagram. And so if you wanted to show on Instagram as well, you can say, hey, I want to show it in the news feed or at the very top on the stories. Okay, so that's kind of a cool little feature there. And then you've got all these different ones. You know, if you want to do Messenger and say, hey, I want them to click and go to Messenger or you can actually have it, uh, an ad in essence pop up in that person's Messenger box, okay, which is kind of crazy, right? Okay, now just scroll down here, guys. Um, I, I typically don't really touch this right here. And then as far as the budget, you can do a daily budget. So I want to spend five bucks a day or a lifetime budget of just saying, hey, only want to spend $35, $100, $50, whatever it is. I typically just like to do a daily budget, okay? And you can start out at whatever number, whatever suits your budget, right? Now, if you have an audience of like 730,000, you can start at like a higher number. Like you could start te technically, you know, let's say 50 or $75 a day. I like to start normally like around 20, $25 a day if I have like a, a massive, massive budget. But if you're watching this video, you're probably more of a beginner. So if you start around like the five to $10 range, that's probably just, that's perfect, right? So we come in here and then this is, this is something that's, that's cool. Like what I like to do sometimes is when I start a new ad campaign, I like to give it the whole entire day. So like right now, I think it's like 6 a.m. on a Saturday. I, 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 don't, I just woke up. I couldn't sleep. So I was like, I'm just going to shoot a video. So I like to get the full day and let it run so that I can kind of like see the whole day's data. And so like if it's, um, if it's right here, so we say I like to start like maybe on a Monday, okay? And then we'll say, we'll, we'll start at 8 a.m., okay? And then since we're a daily budget, well, you, you can have um, a start and end date and then still a daily budget. Or you could just say, hey, run my ad set continuously. But I like to kind of like have a start date, right? And so, um, oh, that switched up on me. So we come over here, 8 a.m. Because then, so if that's Monday at 8 a.m., on Tuesday, when I like kind of get to my ads and stuff around like 8 or 9 a.m., I can see a full day's worth. Now, really quick, quick tip. If you guys are only spending $10 a day, I would give it probably three to four to five days before you go through and evaluate whether your campaign is working or not. Because sometimes it takes a little bit of time for Facebook to go optimize it and find the right people. And the more data they have, the better they'll be able to optimize it for you, okay? So despite popular belief, Facebook actually wants you to succeed because if you succeed, you spend more money with them and it's great for everyone, right? But at the same time, you got to have a good ad that, that really is fitting with your target demographic, which we'll talk about ads here in a second. Okay, so um, that's kind of like what I like to do. So if it started on Monday from 8 uh, at 8 a.m., I could check it maybe that next Tuesday. Just kind of get a quick glimpse of what it's looking like. But if I'm only spending $10 a day, maybe I'll wait till like Wednesday or Thursday to really determine if it's a winning ad or if it's it's not, right? Okay, so coming down here, link clicks. I typically don't really mess with any of this. And that doesn't matter. It like doesn't matter what campaign I'm running. I just like leave it just because lots of Facebook's basic um, stuff is kind of like already set to where you want to have it. Okay, so then we'll come over here to the um, the ad section, right? And you need a business page, um, whether it's your personal one, your business one, or whatever. You need a business page in order to run ads. You can't run it from your personal profile. Okay, now it, it's nice because it's super easy to go through and create your your own Facebook page. It's free, easy, takes like two seconds, all right? And then if you're also advertised on Instagram, you can connect your Instagram account right here. Right now, the cool thing is if, if you have an exist, like let's say you made a post on your Facebook page and, um, and, and you want to use that, you can just click on use existing post and then you can go through and select one of your previous posts right here. Okay, now if you go through and you're creating a new ad inside of Facebook Ads Manager, this is what's called, some people call it a blind ad. <clears throat> and the reason why it's called a blind ad is because this is actually not going to show up on your Facebook page in the news feed, right? So there's the two types. You can go make the post on your Facebook page 
and then use it as an existing post and use that in your ad campaign or if you create it inside here it actually does not show up and there, there's pros and cons to both some people don't want it to be like if you're excluding people from your Facebook page it's only a special offer special something for people that don't like you your page yet then you could do that um, sometimes it's nice to have it on your Facebook page because then you get some free organic exposure some likes and comments that you don't have to pay for and it looks like those posts sometimes look a little bit more natural it's not like a straight up ad because they're gonna look a little bit different like an ad inside of ads manager you're gonna have like the headline the sub headline it's gonna like be like I mean you're just gonna be like your ads that you see every day whereas in a post on Facebook it's not necessarily gonna look as much like an ad and so you can kind of like almost I guess not trick people but like make them think it's not an ad it is still will say sponsored at the top but those are some quick little differences there now we'll hit these really quick just because this is a tutorial for beginners I want to give a full um, rundown of everything it's like the carousel this is we'll just kind of show they've got like the little demos right here this is where you can go through and um, you can have multiple little different images or pictures so like this is kind of nice if you're in e-commerce and you've got like different products that they might be interested in right of like hey we got this or this or this and then you can just come down here and change these different ones um, just through here you can add it it could be an image or a video one thing I've liked to do in the past with um, when I'm get trying to get more clients is I'll do a carousel ad right like this but also have different testimonials so I'll like go and add four or five testimonials like hey this person this happened or this person this happened this person this happened or like real estate you could potentially feature multiple listings that you have right where I like to typically just do one listing if I'm a real estate agent marketing my business but that's an option there you do a single image ad which I'm sure most of you guys have all seen um, just it's just one main core image the single video same type of thing but it's just a video instead of an image um, slideshow I actually have never really used slideshow but it's like kind of just a <clears throat> you can see like it says create a looping video add with up to 10 images okay and then um, collection right here I've, I've never used this as well so I'm not gonna like go speak to it I'm not an expert on it feature collection of items that I'll open into a full screen mobile experience okay so that, that could be cool okay but starting out I would highly recommend starting out with a single image or single video these are just the two I guess basic simplest ones to do so let's say single image so you can go in here upload an image you can see their free stock images or browse the library I'll just see um, I don't even know what images I've got well she's like the core the main the popular profile picture I always use on everything oh so if it looks like this guys there's a tool that's called canva canva.com and we'll just hit this really quick because this is important um, like this ad right here the same thing was happening like this lady's head was getting like cut off okay just kind of like how my head's getting cut off so what I did on canva is you can go through and they've got all of these um, dimensions that are already pre-built for you okay so like Facebook ad a YouTube thumbnail this is what I use you make all my YouTube thumbnails um, this is the old Facebook ad old dimensions Facebook cover Facebook post Instagram post like all these different things so I'll just hit this and then what I'll do is I'll upload you can just upload the image it makes it really easy to upload okay and let's say this is the image right here okay so now if I go through and I throw it in right here and we can make a little background let's see what the background should be maybe this cool house ah, that's probably not gonna fit that great um, I like this house this is my background actually okay and obviously this is probably anyway you guys can see it's, it's pretty easy you just like drag and drop everything and then you can kind of like move you around and all that stuff and then um, you can even type text Okay, so test ad. We'll change that to be white so they can see it a little bit better. You can change the font. Okay, we can just maybe throw this up in the corner. And, and, and also, really quick, guys, um, if you have more than 20% text in your Facebook ad image, you're going to get disapproved. Okay, so. I actually typically like to have as little text if no text as possible so this is actually typically what I do on a YouTube thumbnail 
because it doesn't matter. But on, on something like this, I like to like maybe have like maybe it's like, hey, and obviously this is not like what I would do for real estate. I've got other strategies and stuff like that. But let's say if you want to throw an image of you or somebody in there, you have a little background image, and then you let your your headline and subheadline do the talking. Okay, which we'll show you guys here in a second. Now we can download this and upload it into Facebook Ads Manager. Let's just for this one, I'm just gonna browse the library. I just want to show you guys that really quick. Um, add images. We'll just use something right here that we've already got in place. I will just use this. It's a it's a home, right? Okay, so then we'll throw in the URL. Like let's say for this example, we're just doing it to Google. Obviously, you're not you're gonna put in the URL of your your landing page, and, and I, I'll hit another video on, on that, but you don't want to send it to your main website or your blog. It you're, you're going to waste a lot of money. You're not going to generate any leads, but obviously it just depends on what your goal is, right? That, that campaign objective up here. So if you just want people to read your blog post, then yeah, you could just send them to your, your blog, right? But um, if you want to generate leads, you want to send them to a landing page, which I'll, <clears throat> I'll have another video on that, but that's kind of where we want to go there. So the text right here, Facebook's made this pretty easy guys you just kind of go through okay what's the website you want to send people to what's the text you could say test text um, copy right here and this is just like your main Facebook post like what you want to say in there you can make this as long as you want you can make it like a long long story you can make it very quick and what I like to do here just as this is a tutorial kind of for beginners like letting you know how I like to write my 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 copy <coughs> Excuse me guys. So I like to go through first thing I like to do is call out my audience Second thing I like to do is do something to pique their interest and to give them kind of a call to action and then add some value and then another call to action so like for example um, Let's say um, Orlando homeowners Okay, so that's calling out my audience. Okay, so I'm targeting people in Orlando and if you're a homeowner and I can go through back in my interest and say, hey, I only want people that are homeowners. So I can get specific. But then if, if you live in Orlando and you're a homeowner and you see Orlando homeowners, that's going to pique your attention, right? That's going to be like, oh, hey, this is for me. Um, you can say, are you looking to sell your home in the next three to six months? Okay, so now that's like weeding out the Orlando homeowners. Okay, if you're not looking to sell your home, you're gonna keep scrolling. You're done. I'm, I'm not talking to you. Um, so, are you looking to sell your home in the next three to six months? And then, and obviously, this I'm just creating this on the fly. Um, you could say like, <clears throat> I like let's say I've got somebody looking to buy a home. Okay, I have a family of three looking to purchase a home in the. Um, I don't know Orlando that well, so we'll just say blank area so like if you were wanting to get like specific to like a, a community you know um, who is hoping to purchase their dream home within the next few months okay and then we can say like um, full details click here and then we can have a link so we're gonna have the link so if they click on this image right here that's going to take them to the the site but also it's sometimes nice to add the link inside this copy too because this is a reading it a lot of times people read um ads or anything online with their mouse i don't but a lot of times people do and so if you're they're going through and they're like oh full just click here that it's just easy to click right and so you can add like sometimes it can be as simple and click quick as that or you can add a little bit more um sometimes i typically just leave it at that so like calling out the audience and then of those people, hey, are you looking to sell your home next three to six months? We're weaning it down, and then we're adding like it's like a little value add. Like, hey, like if you're looking to sell, I've already got a family of three looking to purchase a home in this specific area. Now, obviously, you don't want to like make that up. You want it to be like legit, but you want to be some value add there to get them to be like to pique their interest of like, okay, well, what separates you from all the other real estate agents of like, why would I want to sell my home with you? You know what I mean? So then. Um, for the headline, this is where that Google spot is going to be. We could say, are you, um, yeah, we'll just say, are you looking to sell your home? Okay, and that's going to pop up right there. And then we could say, hey, call to action. 
learn more. We've got several ones right here. We can say no button. I don't want it to look like a, an ad a ton. So we're just going to say, hey, just like are you looking to sell your home or watch more. So this is kind of depends on like what your goal is, right? <clears throat> Lots of times I will typically do just learn more just because like it, it kind of is like it's not something of like, hey, download now or donate now or buy now or sign up or something like that. That's a little bit people put a guard up whereas learn more. It's like most people are fine learning a little bit more about something, right? Okay, so we'll just actually I didn't even click that learn more. So we'll leave it at that. Okay, and then I, I typically don't hit this and then this display link you can change that if you want. I typically just leave it and then a news feed link in description so we can say test um, copy right here. That's going to pop up down here as your sub headline. This is the mobile view. You can see mobile news feed and this is only going to show up on your desktop news feed. So if we go through and we scroll and hit this, this is going to show all the different ad placements that we chose in the ad set level. Okay, so we chose news feeds. It's going to show this one right here. Um, this is another view of it. Okay, and then this is uh, what it's going to look like on your desktop news feed. So I can see test copy and say um, we can say Orlando homeowners looking to sell in the next three to six months. I usually do just like a little shortened version of what I'm talking about here. Okay, so it says Orlando homeowners looking to sell in the next three to six months. Um, we have a family looking to buy something like that, and this is like learn more. Okay, so just like a quick so like they're just scrolling through and they kind of skim past all this. Then they see this: Are you looking to sell your home? Orlando homeowners looking to sell in the next three to six months. Um, we have a family looking to buy, and they're like, "Oh, what's this all about?" Learn more. They go to to your website. Okay. And then down here, all this URL parameters, that's super advanced stuff. You don't need to mess with that. Honestly, um, I don't really mess with that even still. And I spend a couple thousand dollars a day on Facebook. Um, so Facebook Pixel, leave that, leave this, I'll leave all that. You just hit confirm. Good to go. Okay, so some other little last tidbits of things. If we come over here to Ads Manager, um, this is, so like this is going to be, we'll say leave this page. Okay, so this is taking you back to this area. You can filter through stuff by lifetime. You want to see everything from the whole lifetime, or you can see how your campaign is just performing today or last seven days. Last times, last seven days, you got to keep in mind it doesn't show the day of. Okay, so that's just going to show the last seven full days or last 14 full days. Lots of times I like to look at it at the last seven days. Okay, and see what it's like. So you can see I'm not running any ads. And then you can kind of mix it up and say like, okay, I want to see it by performance or delivery. So delivery would be like how many people are being reached, right? Or engagement, how many like um, reactions, comments, shares, links, uh, like all the different information there. So you can kind of like um, go through and scroll through what by what you want to see it. And then you can see here, you can see your campaigns, ad sets, and your ads, okay? So if you want to go through and say, hey, I want to get, I want to nail down on a specific, like let's say this foreclosure leads, this is only going to show the ad sets that are within that campaign. And then if we click on this, it's going to just dive deeper. So like you got campaign you clicked on, so it says once selected, ad sets, there's only one ad set in this campaign. We click on this, so it just dives deeper. Now we're at the ad level, so there's just this one ad. And if you're like, Crap, I want to like see what it looks like. I can't remember what it looks like. We just hit this and we'll hit preview and it's going to pop up what this looks like, okay? So we can kind of see what this looks like. If you want to see what it looks like actually in the news feed, you're going to hit, hey, click on this. Just hit Facebook post with comments and this will pop up what this actually looks like. So if you wanted to like, like it yourself right there, you could just throw in a like right there and uh, this kind of it switches between what profiles or pages you have on your account. I've got a lot. You probably don't have as many as me. Okay, so those are some different things. And then also up here, this hamburger menu, and you hit all tools. This goes and kind of takes you in different um, aspects. So like you can create different custom audience. So like um, I've got a video on this actually where you can upload your all of your contacts into Facebook. And it'll match their name, phone, and email with the name, phone, and email that they have on file with Facebook, which is kind of cool. Facebook pixels, which I've got a video on that, I'll add it here as well. On tracking, 
so that's kind of cool so if you guys I'll add these videos like if you guys click in that top section where there's like the little circle with the eye um, I'll have some of those different videos here so you guys can kind of explore some more of these different things um, and then this is where you know set up like the billing and all that the, the like the admin type stuff and so anyway I'm not gonna hit all these things this is just quick um, obviously it's a little bit longer tutorial but anyway if you guys want to learn something specific that's something that I didn't cover in today's video I hope I covered a fair amount um, but if there's something that I didn't cover today make sure you guys leave a comment down below also if this was helpful um, go ahead and hit hit like and let me know um, I, I want to bring value to you guys and help you guys up as much as possible and if you guys are not subscribed to the channel make sure you sure you subscribe I try to launch a new video every single day um, I do my best with that but um, I launch new videos weekly for sure on how to generate more leads make more money and grow your business whether you know you're a real estate agent mortgage broker if you're creating your marketing agency or you want to start a market, you're an entrepreneur like it doesn't matter what business you're in but I will go through and show you how to go through and grow things with Facebook with social media and how to go through and grow your business so anyway guys thanks so much for watching today and um, hope you guys all have an amazing day